Hey coach, so for the game against Charlotte TA, tell us what the game plan is. Yeah, you, you know, having played these guys the first game of the season, it, it's good to get a rematch against them tonight here at Harvard. Uh, both teams certainly look a little bit different than that first game with, with getting some of the college players from the uh, collegiate season and some of our NLL guys. So we feel, you know, coming off that loss, the, the first game of the season, we're certainly more prepared. Uh, our guys are really focused in on this game on both ends of the field. They certainly have some talent on the offensive end, which we feel that we need to contain tonight, just like we did last week against Atlanta. Our guys did a great job uh, on the offensive side. The guys are playing much more team offense. They're sharing the ball really well, taking good shots. We've been limiting turnovers, so those are a couple keys, certainly, to tonight's game. Awesome. Now, you mentioned some big offensive forces for Charlotte. Talk Joey Sankey, Kevin Crowley, and John Haas. Who are you looking to be matched up against them? What are the matchups, Kia, that we can expect to see? Yeah, Joe Sankey, he had a great game against us the, the first week. Uh, Brandon Mullins will be covering him, who did a really nice job last week against Kevin Rice from Atlanta. Um, at, at the midfield, Chanachuk, Mike Chanachuk is a really good player, so he's a guy, one of many that we'll have to key in on, and John Haas is another. So with our short stick midfielders, with Josh Hawkins, Ryan Izzo, and Brent Adams, we'll look to those guys again for a lot of leadership at the short stick D mini position. And then tonight, uh, James Fahey, Scott McWilliams, and Brody will again be playing that position, uh, taking wings, so face-offs will be key as well. Uh, but we like what we see in the matchups against Charlotte tonight for sure. So Will Manny's three goals away from 100 in his career. Just talk a little bit about that and what that kind of means to have a guy like that with so much talent in your lineup. Will's always focused on team first. He's never really thinking about points or getting goals for himself, and that's one of our keys to victory tonight. Uh, once again, it is we goals, not me goals. Uh, and Will is certainly the epitome of that, like all of our guys, thinking about sharing the ball. And I'm sure Will has it in the back of his mind a little bit, but, but getting the W tonight, I, I know, is Will's number one priority, as it always is with our guys. Now, Charlotte's going to come into the matchup losing their last three. Probably a little hungry for a win. What's, how will you look to have a fast break today and get outgoing and not give up a big lead? Like, what happened in the first game of the season? How do you look to kind of switch gears from the first game and switch it up and look for that win? Sure, get, getting off to a fast start is always key. With Charlotte having lost three in a row, you know, they're certainly pressing a little bit to get a victory, and we know that they're going to come into Boston feeling good about how they played us the first game of the year. Uh, they're going to be hungry. They know that they need to get this win to certainly be in the hunt for the playoffs. Uh, but more importantly for ourselves, you know, focusing on, on winning this game to split the series with Charlotte uh, is key. We're starting to see teams twice now, like we did Atlanta last week, and getting two wins against them it is huge. Uh, obviously, our goal is to get to the playoffs and win the MLL championship. So tonight's game is certainly big to, to get that series split uh, against Charlotte tonight. But we expect that they're going to come out hungry. Uh, we don't want to give them any confidence right off the bat. We want to take it to them early on and keep that momentum and pace going for 60 minutes. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Good luck tonight. Thank you.